What's up, everyone? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So this is my dedicated video to give my shout out and my appreciation to our Gotham Knights community here. The Video Game Fight School channel, I myself, we've been in a sense, that's the community and I have been in this really interesting walks through surrounding this game. I think I went back just a few, I don't know, maybe months ago. And I was looking at, say, some of my videos. I just, you know, it's nice to just maybe take a quick glance back. Don't dwell too much on the past. And it was nice to see how the community so far has grown, uh, how everything has actually, you know, come full circle, where we actually have a platform to talk about Gotham Knights from a whole different perspective. One of the biggest challenges, though, is every time a video game doesn't necessarily suit, uh, you know, our own maybe perceptions or expectations, the easiest thing to do is to write it off. And so over the past few years, I think since about 2020, I decided to take a different approach on my content creation to see if there are ways that we can come with a more balanced side of the discussion. And I think that balance is actually providing some of the positives and highlights of a video game as you're providing some of the sh possible shortcomings, especially if the game is not out. And so this has been in a way not the most popular thing to do. It's easier to rack up views if I sit here and poop on this game all day. But I don't think that you know perspective actually is in a sense valid. All of these videos provide data, provide pointers, and developers and their social media managers can actually glean from them and provide feedback to development teams. And you guys are providing that platform. So thank you very much for all of your participation on this channel. Thank you so much for even, you know, taking the time to, you know, provide involved and critical conversations because it really opens the door to make me want to be better at my craft um, because, you know, there's not a lot that you can actually <laughs> do in terms of, you know, talking about a game that you don't know how it's developed, but I think one thing that has really been very, very good is in this channel or on this channel is your support for me even diving more and more into learning uh, the just little tricks about game development. Uh, because I remember when I started learning it, nobody cared. Nobody really cared about that. It was like, ah, it's a, it doesn't make any difference, you know, all of that stuff. But this community has been really supportive of that enterprise by actually dialing into those conversations and the curiosity is actually a big deal. So if we take a step back and if we take a look back at how far we've come as a community, it's something that is uh, of a marvel. I, I remember the very first time that we saw this particular trailer at DC Fandom event, and I was really excited. I was like, man, we're going to play this game, uh, you know, next year. <laughs> but that didn't happen. Uh, you know, we saw the game not show up the next year, which is 2021. And they eventually told us that in 2022, we're going to be playing the game. This was not necessarily the most ideal situation, having waited multiple years to play something, uh, you know, that was actually remotely close to whatever it is that we'd been waiting for. But nonetheless, I really do respect, uh, you know, the work that the developers have put into the game. I also remember, you know, the conversations that a lot of us had in the community uh, when and I said some really crazy stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, this DC Phantom event, uh, you know, trailer is actually the game. Man, did I get a smacking for that one? But, you know, it's funny to see that at that time. You know, some of us did perceive that. And these ideas are not always 100% mine, by the way. Please keep in mind that most of the things that I share on this channel, very little of it is original. And I'm just being upfront because this channel is, in my opinion, something I've designed to be more community focused. So a lot of our, you know, footage and a lot of our content is very influenced from some of the things that we have conversations over in the comment section on Twitter and by and large. So that's another really big and interesting thing out there. And in this video, nonetheless, I know I'm just talking about, you know, my own journey and all, but there is something that's very important to me. And that is the growth of the Gotham Knights community as a whole on social media, because here's how this is going to play out. Game's going to come out. We're going to get a bunch of, you know, interested parties, YouTubers, uh, everyone jump on the game and talk about the game. But then after a few months, a lot of them are going to shift their focuses to other games, while most of us are going to still remain here. In that transitionary process, I want to recommend 
that as an audience member that you seek out Gotham Knights creators, you know, of every, you know, capacity and caliber. I'm not I'm not really here to run around and try to, you know, get subscribers. Honestly, I know it's funny, you know, but I already have another channel that's actually like five times bigger than this one. So subscribers have never really been a priority for me. Uh, you can even ask the people who have watched my other channels, ask content creators in that space. It's never been a priority for me. Core communities have been the, the biggest priority. It's something that I enjoy more and the chasing down of subs can get old. It's nice. The, the YouTube people say do it. They say it helps grow your channel and it does, but it's not something that I'm really interested in right now. I'm interested in the Gotham Knights community actually growing. And that means by the time this game starts to reach a mature point that there are creators that continue to talk about the game, provide feedback on the game, provide a platform where you as the audience members can continue to converse about the game because this game is going to have kind of a, an end game attached to it. That's going to that seems to me anyways, that the developers want to support for a long time coming. That's going to be robust as well. So this is going to be something where it provides a form where the audience members can have an outlet because we don't have a direct line to the devs until we eventually start getting introductions to the community managers. And it's also going to vary. I don't know exactly what kind of relationship the development team intend with the community development. So our own community is where we actually are able to talk about the game on YouTube and Twitter or wherever platforms they are. And I encourage you guys to actually seek out those creators and just support them wherever it is that they are. Even if they have maybe 20 subs or whatever it is, if subscribing is going to be the support or just maybe hitting the notification bell on those, I think it's going to eventually start to help them to grow and establish them within this ecosystem so that possibly in the future, by the time another game is coming from this studio, because this studio is, is a valuable studio to Warner Brothers, believe it or not, they are bringing out a game. So they're already valuable <laughs> after multiple canceled games. And so at that point, I'm hoping that we have more voices that are able to continue to showcase their interest, genuine interest for the game. And the developers can see from there and start to say, okay, this is what this community actually prefers. This is how big this community is. This is what this community is about. And then eventually tailor video game experiences that suit this community. Sounds like a big, huge, crazy goal, but I've never ever envisioned things that are kind of small in my mind anyway. Sometimes I could be small minded. This is true. But when it comes to something like this that I'm kind of passionate about, I really see the potential and I think we as the community have the potential to now grow all of this. It's not YouTube's not going to do anything for us. The algorithm is really weird and sketchy. So we have to do the hard work ourselves. So I'm going to be looking out for, you know, other creators. I'm going to be watching their content. I'm usually quiet, though, so you're not going to really see me comment on their videos. I might comment on some of your comments. <laughs> You'll see me there, but it's not going to be overt. But I encourage you that you do it as much as you can overtly for even the others in this ecosystem. So I'll get on uh, off this video for now. You, you know, talk to me hopefully in another video. I hope to have some really good content planned out for you guys for the rest of the you know month and the week as we're waiting for Gotham Knights content. And hopefully we'll be seeing soon. Peace out.